this is it. The moment I've been waiting for. Every single second of my life has been leading up to now. Today, I become a high school student. Pretty cool, hey? I'm so ready for this. Oh, my baby. She's all grown up. Don't look at her baby. Oh. Look at you, Squirt. No more small fry, eh? Now, Taylor, I know you're nervous about starting high school. I'm not nervous. I just want you to know it's perfectly normal to be scared. I bet I'm not. And whenever I get those butterflies in my tummy, I always think of something Virgil once said. Fortune favours the brave. Virgil? Didn't he run that surf shop over in Mullet Bay? No, Don. He wrote poetry in ancient Rome. He inspired people who needed courage. But I don't... Glenda, 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 love me. This is amazing! Oh, 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 you won't believe this! Jupiter's gone ballistic! Gee, you're out of the blocks early this morning, Marge. It's mind-blowing, Don. And on a full moon, we're talking brilliant new beginnings. Life-changing, even. Oh, 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 I've never seen anything so auspicious in the whole time I've been studying astrology. You've got to start that aromatherapy massage business today. This instant. I haven't even finished brekkie. When the cosmos comes knocking, Glenn, do you turn it away? That's a big step, Marge. I'm not sure I'm ready. Uh, excuse me, what did Virgil once say about fortune favouring the brave? Where would I set up my clinic? You don't mind giving up your room for a bit, do you, lovey? <laughs> me? Where would I sleep? You can uh, bunk in with your sister. What? Mum, you Oh, oh calm down, Taylor. I know you're stressed. It's first day nerves. And... <gasps> Hang on. I've got just the thing. My super home mixed de-stress aromatherapy ointment. It's amazing. Uh, it stinks. I can't believe my little girl's old enough to go to high school. I can't believe you're rubbing that stuff on me. Thank me later. Hurry up, we're late. Oh, oh have a good day, darling. Bye. Now I'm only going to say this once, so pay attention. These are the rules. What rules? You never said there was any rules. What rock have you been living under? Every high school has rules. The Driftwood High rules are as follows. Ew, did the Floons cat sick up again? Uh, Layla, the rules. OK, rule one. There are to be no lame backpacks. There are to be no backpacks with lame key rings hanging off them and no backpacks to be worn above the waist at all times. No, seriously, I can smell dead fish. Layla! Dion! Wanna lift? What do you reckon? Oh, you can't go. You haven't even finished telling me the rules yet. Sorry, only room for one. And I'd hurry if I were you. people keep telling me. Hello, do you want her to be a social reject? Oh, yuck. Did somebody step in something? I'm talking El Grosso. That is so disgusting. Oh, I know. It's true. Why didn't you tell me my skirt was too long? Oh, it's you. You smell putrid. Gee, thanks. Look, here's a map and a timetable. You're meant to be in room four, East Block two now. Let's hope they have gas masks. 
Where's these Bob to? Ultra detox fine peppermint for balm. Oh, I'll say it again, loving. You've been given a gift from the universe. But just to be sure, I think you should practice on me. Wow, this seems to be a lot of year sevens. Driftwood High is a total enrollment of 786, of which 130 are Year 7s. Wow. This year, there's six Year 7 classes. So let's see. 130 divided by 6 equals... 21.6 students per class. I'm pretty sure I'm the point six. <laughs> I'm good with numbers. I love them. What do you do on the weekends? Um, stuff. No. Beach. You? I work out really hard maths problems. It's awesome. So what do you want to do next week? Excuse me. Hector, hi! Uh, sorry, I thought there was someone else. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but can you smell something putrid? <laughs> Chronic hay fever. Haven't smelted things since I was seven. First you stand me up, and now this. I didn't stand you up, I missed the bus. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Meeting the guys in my class. They're great. And my English teacher's hilarious. Whoa, what did you have for lunch? Maths lesson? Why is your neck red? Long story. What have you got now? Um, geography. Maths. Hurry up, Taylor, we'll be late. Do you want to meet up after school? Front gate. Okay, but don't stand me up again. See ya. See ya. Do you think Taylor's going to be all right today, Marsh? All I can say is there's nothing in the charts to indicate otherwise. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, that's good. Still, it's a big step going back to being a little fish all over again. Oh, nonsense, lovey. At that age, they're all six foot tall and bulletproof. Maybe you're right. It's in the stars, Glenn. The stars. And besides, it's not like she's facing it alone. She's got Hector. Absolutely. So forget about that and focus all your energies on my bunions. Now, remembering that a reflex angle is always more than 180 degrees, who can tell me the reflex angle of 90 degrees? Yep. 270. Excellent. Right again. Um, Miriam. Miriam. And the rest of you guys, can you finish these worksheets by tomorrow morning, please? And I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, Taylor, isn't it? Yeah. Can you just stay back for a sec? It won't take long. So, how'd you like your first day at high school? Fun, thanks, Miss Palmer. Call me Tina. Uh, um, Tina. It's a big step. I remember my first day at high school, I totally freaked. I think it's easy to forget how difficult these changes can be. A new school, new friends, and hey, even our bodies are changing oh. too. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Taylor. Puberty. When a girl gets to your age, hormones start kicking in and, well, it's a pretty cool idea to start using a deodorant. Like this one. I'll dig up some reading material for you on bodily changes too. Uh, um, thanks, Miss Tina. I'd better go now.
I don't know what I was so excited about. High school is terrible. Taylor! Uh, stop, love. You have to get off. I'm just on my way to your place. Mum's giving me a massage on the house. You're spooky, much. How'd you know I was here? Was it the planets or the tea leaves? No, lovey. Vince the mechanic. He's got my car in his workshop round the corner. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's Glenda's super strength home mix de stress ointment, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, marvellous stuff. Can't get enough of it. You've got to be joking. You know, lovey, a couple of weeks ago I ran out of axle grease, so I used some on the car. I moved it all in with your sister. Mum! Your mother's an angel of mercy, Taylor. Without her, I may never line dance again. <sighs> what is this? Solitary confinement? I wish. I prefer privacy. You cannot seriously expect me to sleep in here. Yeah, I don't care where you sleep, Taylor, as long as you and your stupid teddy bear aren't anywhere near me. This sucks! Then try the laundry. I hear it's pretty nice this time of year. No human can fit in here. A mozzie will get claustrophobic. Hey, don't blame me. Blame dolphin woman and Madam Teabag. This is double the size of mine. Out! Ow! You are permanently banned from here. Oh, what is that? Air freshener. I just remember, stink bomb, this is my room. You're only on a temporary visa. Hello? Who? It's your boy for anyone wants to come over. Don't the United Nations have laws against places like that? What can I do? You can try tunneling out. I blame Jupiter. I blame your parents. Don't they realise you've just started high school? Apparently not. I wonder how Brittany's first day went at St. Avinia's. She probably spent it show jumping. I kind of miss her. You know, like... Walking to school and everything, it's not the same without her. And Mr McCloskey. Yeah, well, times change. I even miss Mr McCloskey's bushwalking socks. You're kidding me. You know what's funny, Hector? Everybody made out that high school would be amazing. It is. No, it's not. It's really bad. Just give it a chance, Taylor. You'll love it. You just need a good night's sleep. No, Haley dropped Jake after Jake dropped Tara, and then Tara met Sam after Sam dropped Haley. So that's why Haley was cut at Tara because she still liked Sam. But Sam's in the like Ow! Can you keep it down? I'm on the phone. I've got to get out of this prison! Don't panic. Everything will be.
be all right. I baked you a cake. Is there a file in it? Hmm. No, I've got something. Morning, like an egg. Thanks, I've already got one. Hey, spill my milk. Yeah? Don't cry over it. How's in your room, sweetheart? Oh, you mean the mouse cage? It'd be better when the exercise wheel's installed. You seem a little tired, Pumpkin. Maybe I should give you a message. Hector! Hector! Quick, I'm in danger! What sort of danger? Death by aromatherapy, it's a killer! It's not like the old days, is it? No way. We are in the same French class, aren't we? Uh, looks like it. Hey, Taylor! Want to meet up for lunch again? Uh, sure. I've had a heaps good idea. We can go to the library and work on some really hard geometry. Great. I'll see you there. <laughs> see ya. Who was that? Uh, just Miriam. Hey, do you miss Brittany? Nah. Well, maybe just a little bit. Which bit? Her metallic marker pens. Seriously? Ooh, especially the gold one. Oh, yeah, that was cool. And so was her battery-operated pencil sharpener she got last birthday. Yeah. And I miss how the corner of her eyes used to crinkle up when she laughed. <laughs> and the way she used to twirl her hair at the end of her finger when she tried to get the answer right. Mm. <laughs> what about Leon? Do you miss him? Uh, nah, not at all. Hmm. This is this? Oh, morning, Taylor. Morning, Tina. Here's that reading material I mentioned. Thanks. Am I sick? No. Do I look weird? You always look weird. Come with me. <gasps> Brittany! Are you meant to be in this class? Yes. Then take a seat immediately. You too. Je m'appelle Monsieur Chauvel. I will be your French teacher this year. Now, open your textbook to page four. At home with the Ravel family. You will note they are sitting at the dinner table, the mother having prepared a sumptuous feast. So why didn't you tell us you were coming? It was kind of a last minute thing. But I thought you loved St. Dominius. I changed my mind. Why? Personal reasons. Personal reasons? What personal reasons? Excuse me? Is this what it's like at Driftwood? Everybody has to know everybody's business? Hey, I was just asking. Well, if you must know, I chose to come here, OK? OK, OK. Calm down. Hey, Taylor, I found the best problem. It's about the angles in a dodecahedron. You're going to love it. Sounds great, Miriam. Maybe later? OK, I'll see you then. I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> hey. Ah, the gang! Just who I wanted to see! What's going on? I've got a surprise. Come on. Another one. Quick, quick, quick! In the garage. I've relocated. Permanently. Why? I had to do something. It was too much. New school, new room. Mum. And I've put all of your stuff back in your room exactly the way you had it, even Mr. T. I know, I know. I am the best mother in the world. How'd you guess? Sweetheart, your chakras were screaming. I say beware a screaming chakra. In my experience, they can cause no end of grief. Marge. Business is still a little slow. Your mother's working miracles on my arches. Same time tomorrow, Glenn? Yes. Don't forget your purse. Mistaken, or is that a driftwood high uniform you're wearing? Oh, yay. this really is like old times, isn't it? Sort of. It's been a big week. Mm. Huge. But in my new capacity as best mother in the world, I have one more special surprise. I'm offering every new high school student the opportunity to relax deeply with a special de stress massage. <laughs> What was that? 
Silas Chakra screaming. Terrible mistake. I've been reading my charts upside down. See? Jupiter hasn't gone ballistic. It's Mercury opposing Pluto. You have to shut down the business today before we all go bankrupt. I've never seen anything like it the whole time I've been studying astrology. You said that the other day. How long have you been studying astrology, Mark? About three weeks. <laughs> you never finished telling me the rules. You've broken most of them already. Only because I don't know what they are. Why you wearing those ugly key rings? Ugly key rings. Well, they weren't like, ugly. They were. <laughs> That's a stupid rule. What's the next one? Never, ever agree to call a teacher by their first name. Oh, no. Hey, Squirt! Hey, Cowabunga, dude! 